uh, talk about this here really quickly. All right, one of the things that you're going to find is uh, lots of the the figures like the kites and the rhombus and the squares, okay, the that use right triangles. Okay, they're going to be either three, four, five, five, twelve, thirteens. They're going to be um, 45, 45, 90, 30, 60, 90. So there's going to be some kind of uh, work through those. Not guaranteed, but very often. And then uh, if they're not, then use Pythagorean theorem uh, in dealing with those or the trig ratios. So you are going to, or you should anticipate that you're going to see a lot of right triangle stuff coming up. So if you have any struggles from chapter five uh, dealing with the trig, so Katoa, right, or the... 45, 45, 90, 30, 60, 90 stuff. Uh, make sure that uh, you uh, ask questions and recover any of the material that you're not uh, quite sure of. All right, so let's look at this. The area of the kite we know is going to be one half the product of their diagonals. Okay, and so let's see if we can find the lengths of these diagonals. Well, we have this uh, right triangle created. Again, we know that diagonals intersect at right angles. So because these three pieces are all equal, we have an isosceles right triangle here. If the hypotenuse is 5 root 2, what does that mean each leg is? 5. Okay, so we know one of the diagonals right here is a total length of 10. So we can plug that in. So next we have to find what this diagonal is. Well, we know this diagonal is going to be this length 5 plus whatever this measure is. What kind of a triangle is created right here? So we have a right triangle, a leg of 5, and a hypotenuse of 10. What does that tell you? It's a 30, 60, 90, right? Because the 30, 60, 90 has the, the pattern of x, 2x, x root, 3. So that means this leg is going to be 5 root 3. So if we just add that together, that gives us our other diagonal. And then it's just a matter of calculating half of 10 is 5. If we distributed our 5 through, we would get 25 plus 25 root 3. And there are no units labeled there. It is an area, so it's a two-dimensional measurement. And so this would be our exact answer. The exact answer is 25 plus 25 squared root 3. And if they ask you to write it in an approximate form, you just put that in your calculator, round it to whatever number of decimals they're asking you to.